I am the greatest warrior this world has ever seen. After rescuing the Emperor from Shun Un, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Shu Cheng. His control of the revered Emperor of the long reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself Emperor basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zhang. He claims to be the true leader and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Xu a traitor and begins his own campaign against him. We have Shu province. Cao Cao is next. I'm going to attack Yan province. Prepare yourselves for battle. Please, my lord, wait just a minute. The time is not yet ripe. Cao Cao has grown much stronger since you last faced him. We must find a way to develop our own strength to match him. Strength? I have enough strength for all of us. You just need to prepare a battle for me. Stop wasting your time offering your worthless opinions. Have you forgotten Cao Cao's mercilessness in Yan province? If you go to war with him, he will cheat, connive, and scheme so that he does not have to face you directly. That is the kind of man Cao Cao is. In order to overcome his dastardly schemes, we must form an army of our own that has enough might to nullify anything he can come up with. Chen Gong, I hear you placed Liu Bei and Xiao Pei without my permission. Until now, I have done just as you have suggested, but you have the temerity to try and tell me what to do, and you go behind my back. I do not serve at your pleasure. Shu province is not your land. Do not have ideas above your station. Father, please, calm yourself. Master Lu Bu, I agree that Cao Cao is our sworn enemy, but I am also concerned about the movements of Yuan Shu. He seems to covet Shu province and is making the necessary military preparations to invade it. Hmm. Battle against one so pathetic will provide me with no satisfaction. But if he dares to stand before me, I will not disappoint him. He will regret ever setting foot in Shu province. Master Zhang Liao says, you and Shu is who we must be particularly wary of. We must keep a very sharp eye on him, I believe. Yuan Shu has launched his invasion on Shu province. It appears that he has attacked Master Liu Bei and Xiao Pei. Curse that Yuan Shu! He knows he can't beat me, so he goes after Liu Bei. I despise those who pick on the weak. He will pay for that. Master Lu Bu, it would be most unwise to wage war against Yuan Shu at the moment. You do not want us to fight him? But why not? We may have claimed Shu province, but our military firepower is no match for Cao Cao's. 
If our army is forced to endure a battle against you and Shu now, then we will be left vulnerable to an attack from Cao Cao. It will be Yan province all over again. Then what do you suggest I do? What we need to do, I believe, is mediate in the conflict between Master Liu Bei and Yu and Shu. That will ensure the safety of Shu province, while our army will remain fully rested and ready to face Cao Cao at any time. Mediate? You mean it will be our job to stop them from fighting? Do you think we're capable of doing such a thing? With the power and prestige of Master Lubu, I do. I think it would be quicker to simply crush you and Shu. But if you insist... Come! Let us put an end to this petty squabble. I'm supposed to act as a mediator here? Can't I just crush these bugs? Pathetic. I will end this. Yu and Shu's forces are almost at Shopee already. That's probably a good place to start rescuing our allies in danger. What can I get for you? Please, come again. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Let's go 
cap. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Capturing the enemy. Bases is the key to defeating them. We must begin the march if we are to win this battle. Our first target is that enemy base. The enemy is going to attack us here! Everyone prepare to defend this spot! We must begin the march if we are to win this battle. Our first target is that enemy base. begin the march if we are to win this battle. Our first target is that enemy base. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! I could have defeated him if it had just been Liu Bei. Nobody can stop me! I'm grateful for your help. I shall leave this battle in your capable hands, Master Liu. Report! Lord Zheng Shun and the others in the advance guard have been wiped out! What's that? <laughs> then who's going to take down Liu Bei for me? This area. Lu Bu, you've sided with the enemy, haven't you? You fool! I'll bury you together with Leo Bei! We must begin the march if we are to win this battle. Our first target is that enemy base. Look at them, with their backs turned to us, without a care in the world. Now, how can I inflict the most pain on them? We must begin... 
If we are to win this battle, our first target is that enemy base. Must begin the march if we are to win this battle. Our first target is that enemy base. How dare you interfere, Lupu? You've ruined my brilliant plan. I have seen enough of these meaningless battles. Yuan Shu, withdraw your men. If you refuse, I will cut you down here and now. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Yuan Shu, Liu Bei, I have seen more than enough of your dull little argument. It is time for you both to put it behind you. If you do not, you will face me instead. Uh, very well. I will withdraw. I take it you are good with this as well, Liu Bei? I shall do as you request, Master Lupo, and withdraw my forces. Now that it's settled, get out of here, and keep your ridiculous little disagreements out of my land. This battle has made it perfectly clear that you and Shu is no match for you, my lord. But by stepping in and mediating in this conflict instead of simply crushing him, we have allowed him to keep face. He owes us a great debt now, and that could be very useful. Chen Gong, was this your plan all along? Is this why you asked Father to mediate? This was all for the purposes of strengthening our power base here in Shu Province. If we lose this land, our dreams of conquest are at an end. I only wish for you to be able to fight with no unnecessary concerns troubling you, my lord. To that end, I must think of any and every possible plan. to beat you? Let me make your wish come true.
Master Liu Bu, it seems that Liu Bei has accepted Cao Cao's invitation and left Chu province. In response, it appears that Cao Cao's army is now heading this way. Liu Bei, after I let you stay in Xiaopei, have you forgotten the debt you owe me? Chen Gong, prepare for battle at once. We will show them the folly of their actions. Master Lu Bu, Liu Bei knows this land, Shu province, like the back of his hand. And if he has joined forces with Cao Cao, then it will not be a simple task to overcome them. In order to bolster our own troop numbers, I do believe it would be prudent here to form an alliance with you and Shu. He owes us a debt. I think now might be an optimal time to have him repay it. Join forces with that pathetic coward? Are you mad? I will take on Liu Bei and Cao Cao by myself. My lord, we are here to fight on level footing. Naturally, you would claim victory, but as things currently stand, we would not be able to do so. All I desire is to be able to create the ultimate stage upon which you can demonstrate the true extent of your might. Ha! Whatever. Father. Cao Cao's vanguard has already reached the border of Xu province. I'm afraid that we do not have much time. We must hurry to Yuan Shu and agree to terms. Hmm. I will leave the boring negotiations to you, Chen Gong. I will concentrate on kicking aside Cao Cao's army. Father appears to be extremely irritated. He believed that if he had his own land, he could fight his battles the way he wanted to. But the reality has proven to be very different. Believe me, I have no desire to bring Master Lu Bu any discontent. All of this is simply an effort to protect this land of Shu province, which is Master Lu Bu's new home now. I know. I place no blame on your shoulders. I just... I just want my father to be able to fight his battles his own way. I hope that day will come soon. We must form an alliance with Master Yuan Shu at once. Come on, to Shoshun! Hmm. You can deal with all the boring details. I'm off to smash the enemy. Cao Cao's forces. I knew they wouldn't stay away. But I am the daughter of the Demon of War. I will face them. This area. Yeah. South 
Sal must have noticed our movement. We need to keep an eye out for his involvement. the two of you are up to no good. That's why I'm here. To silence you. them significantly. Victory should have been ours. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? I knew it. Nobody can stand against the might of Master Lulu. I have my orders. I am to prevent you from reaching Shoshu. Uh, show me what you've got. You never cease to amaze me. I failed to carry out my lord's orders. Uh, show me what you've got! you to form an alliance with you and Shu. It's unlike Lu Fu to team up with Wen Shu. Put a stop to their little alliance. Uh, show me what you've got. Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me, you bore me. Allowing them to form an alliance is an absolute nightmare for our forces, and I failed to stop it. I let this battle slip away from me. Next time, I'm sure it doesn't happen again. I'm going to squash you. Lu Bu and Yuan Shu want to interfere with Lord Cao Cao's plans? I won't let them do that.
Show me what you uh, got. I've been defeated. I'm sorry, Lord Cao Cao. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Father, you never cease to amaze me. Uh, show me what you've got. Uh, I must fall back. I knew it. Nobody can stand against the might of Master Lulu. Sorry, but I've had just about enough of you. Even if it means I have to get my hands a little dirty. It's time to take the attack to the enemy. Forward! How could my tactics fail like that? Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? <laughs> Truly impressive! I won't have any enemies left to defeat! Provide me with a decent challenge. I shudder to think what will happen if Lu Bu and Yuan Shu manage to join forces. We need to make our move now before it's too late. Cao Cao's forces have been eliminated. Now you and Shu should be happy to welcome us in. That was the most boring battle I've ever seen. Come, we are heading for Shou Chu. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Finally! We've made it as far as Shoshu. It is time for the meeting with Master Yuan Shu. Hmm. You take care of it. I refuse to do anything. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! What's that? You want to form an alliance with me? First, you mediate in my conflict, like some arbiter of peace, even though it has nothing to do with you. And now, no sooner does Sao Sao attack than you come crawling. Everything you do is for your own benefit. You really think I'd join forces with the likes of you? We have common ground, do we not, Master Yuan Shu? We both want Sao Sao removed from the picture. Then, does it not make sense to join hands, avoid unnecessary friction between us, and ensure that we each reap the benefits? What do you think? I believe this helps you quite as much as it helps us. Hmm. I suppose what you say makes sense. Very well then. I will agree to your proposal. But I do not trust you at all. As a show of good faith, I want you to let me take a hostage. You are Lu Bu's daughter, are you not? I want you to marry my son. If you agree to that, I would have no concern regarding any possible betrayal. I take it you have no objection? How dare you? Why should Ling Chi have to marry your weasel son? 
If you keep spouting such nonsense, I will cut you down where you stand. Wait! Father! If I agree to your plan, then you will form an alliance with us, yes? In that case, I accept your terms. But the marriage will only take place after we have defeated South South. After all, it's not as if we trust you implicitly either. Ling Chi, what are you saying? This is all in order to defeat South South. Besides, nothing will happen just yet. Very well. Once Cao Cao has been defeated, you will join our family. Ling Chi! We can turn our backs on an agreement with you and Shu any time we want. The only thing that matters now is that we have no concerns holding us back in our battle against Cao Cao. Ha! You're as bad as Chen Gong. I want you to promise you will never do something like that again. Come, we will head back to the castle. Master Lubu, the main unit of Cao Cao and Liu Bei's army is finally on the move. They have shown the advantage of knowing the territory of Shu province. They have taken down each and every one of our garrisons. I do believe it is only a matter of time before Shapi is completely surrounded. Hmm. It is good of them to save me the trouble and to serve themselves up on a plate for me to devour. This makes everything much simpler. Chen Gong, lure them further in. Master Lu Bu, do you understand the situation we are in? Our very lives hang by a thread! If we do not do something before we are completely surrounded, defeat is guaranteed! We must send word to Master Yuan Shu and ask him to honor our alliance by sending reinforcements. You will do no such thing, Chen Gong. I have no need of reinforcements. This is the battle I have always dreamed of fighting. I will not let anyone ruin this perfect moment. This crisis? This is your perfect moment? Master Lubu, your homeland is in danger! If we don't do something, you will have no place from which to show the world your military might. Why do you assume we will lose, Chen Gong? All we need to do is defeat the enemy. I will not lose to anyone. I took Chu Province as a means of proving that. I have had enough of your advice. I've had enough of meditation and alliances. Today, I will finally fight the way I have always wanted to. Master Lubu. Then I have no choice but to have faith that your might is indeed the greatest this land has ever seen. The army led by Cao Cao and Liu Bei has reached Sha Pi and is taking up position to surround this castle. Our supplies have been nearly exhausted, meaning it will be difficult to remain in the castle for much longer. We have drawn the enemy in far enough. We will go forth! 
I will break a hole clean through this so-called siege. They have such numbers, yet they still do not attack the castle. That's Cao Cao. I know he's up to something. Master Lubu, I believe that we must move with extreme caution here, or we will walk straight into an enemy trap. Why would I move with caution against a bunch of cowardly rats? I already told you, Chen Gong. I will fight the way I see fit. I will take orders from no one. I... I bring news! The floodgates in the area surrounding Sha Pi have been destroyed by enemy forces. With nowhere else to go, the water is flowing in this direction! No! So that's the reason they chose not to attack. They were planning to flood us out! Ah! How could I allow such a disaster to befall us? This is no time to be wallowing in self-pity, Ching Gong. If the castle is about to be flooded, we must evacuate the troops. But if they leave the castle, the enemy will be lying in wait. If they stay, they drown. There is no path left open. Stop worrying. If we break through the enemy lines, we can choose whatever path we like. But I fear that Cao Cao has some other dastardly plan in place to nullify your strength, my lord. Chen Gong, your only duty is to prepare a stage for me to fight on. With my might and your intellect, we can claim dominion over the land. Isn't that what you said? Master Lubu? The enemy is attacking in vast waves. If I can defeat them, I will prove that I am the greatest ever. At last, the battle I have always dreamed of is here. I will go forth. I will show the world what true might looks like.
The enemy water attack has resulted in numerous defections from our ranks. We must stop them from leaving at once. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? I knew it. Nobody can stand against the might of Master Liu. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Impressive. You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Impossible! Nupu's dogs shouldn't be here yet! <clears throat> Defeating us won't make a difference. You will be wiped out by Zhao Zhao. Our rebellion has failed? Curse everything! All of the traitors have been dealt with. But the real battle begins now. I believe. Nobody can stop me! Father, you never cease to amaze me! you with aid. Be sure to show your gratitude in an appropriate manner. <laughs> Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! <laughs> will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! I'll 
letting you go for now. Don't think you've won. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Father, you never cease to amaze me. We can seize their bases to gain the momentum. Everyone, charge the enemy swiftly and without mercy! will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Stop me! Incredible! I am truly impressed by your skill. started a war simply to show the world how strong he is. He is a man without any honor, and I will make sure that he is punished. Our allies are currently engaged with the enemy forces. We must go to their aid at once. <laughs> Still unable to repay the debt that I owe. Hmm. It doesn't matter how many of you there are. Insects will always be mere insects. Come, it is time for us to leave. Nobody can stop me! I knew it. 
Nobody can stand against the might of Master Lubu. important to see the battlefield from different perspectives. Let us assist our friends in need. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Show me what you've got! I cannot allow you to harm Master Cao Cao. You shall soon see the true extent of my might in battle. I'm here to protect Lord Cao Cao. There's no way I'm losing to the likes of you. Show me what you've got. How could I get you in battle? Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Provide me with a decent challenge. Father, you never cease to amaze me. I must fall back. I knew it. Nobody can stand against the might of Master Lu. Everyone, 
to defend this area. Show me what you've got. It seems my might was insufficient for the task at hand. Huh. You can only see that which is right in front of you. That is not nearly enough to emerge victorious over the chaos. You have done well to make it this far. However, you will never claim my head as long as I have my men around me. Show me what you've got! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. I can't believe I lost. I failed you, Lord Cao Cao. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Nobody can stop me. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Even Xu Huang and Xu Chu have been forced to retreat. Lu Bu is just as strong as everybody says. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Uh, show me what you've got. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Father, you never cease to amaze me. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. You sure know how to fight. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? I knew it. Nobody can stand against the might of Master Lubu. <laughs> Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! Show me what you've got! Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Incredible! I am truly impressed by your skill. You are powerful, demon. I will give you that. However, I will not stop until you are dead. You don't have any final words, Cao Cao? Death is upon me. Lubu beat back the forces of Cao Cao, sent to attack Sha Pi. However, there was little time to celebrate his victory, as an even larger army approached his position. Cao Cao was joined by Liu Bei's elite troops in an effort to attack him once more. Lu Bu's army was driven back and forced to take up position within Sha Pi Castle. His enemies were some of the greatest heroes in the land. 
the castle was hit with a flood attack and on the verge of collapse. Even still, Lubu relished the challenge that stood before him. Damn that Xiao Xiao! He truly is... He truly is a clever fox. Even if you search the entire land, you likely couldn't find... a formation like that. Master Lubu! We are in serious trouble! Serious trouble! Trouble? I thrive on trouble. There is no greater joy than crossing blades... with strong and worthy opponents. We will fight at our best, and if we are defeated, fine. When we die, we will die with honor. Isn't that right, Master Lu Bu? <laughs> Don't be so stupid. <laughs> I will never I don't care how strong my opponent, how large his forces. I will break them. This is it. Oh. Let's go! Yeah! Show the entire world the power of Lubu!